President Ramnath Govind has approved a recommendation by the Election Commission to disqualify 20 AAP MLAs for the Delhi Legislative Assembly, paving the way for by-elections in Delhi. Disqualified MLAs were accused of holding offices of profit while occupying the post of parliamentary secretaries. AAP has indica indicated it may approach the higher courts in the matter. Four people, including three civilians and an Indian Army soldier, were killed and over a dozen others injured along the line of control and international border in the ceasefire violations by Pakistan on Saturday. A soldier who was identified as Sapoi Mandeep Singh was killed in the unprovoked Pakistani firing in the Krishna Ghati sector of Pooch district. Election Commissioner Om Prakash Rawat will take over as Chief Election Commissioner on January 23rd. A 64-year-old former IAS officer will succeed incumbent CEC Archil Kumar Jyoti. Robert was also deputed to South Africa as the United Nations election observer to look after the first post apartheid elections in 1994. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister has said the state should become a bridge of friendship between India, Pakistan and not a fighting zone. Mehbooba said as India moves on the path of development, the opposite is happening in Jammu and Kashmir. The chief minister lauded the police force for bravely facing the challenge of insurgency in the state. Home Minister Rajnath Singh has said that India wants to make good relations with Pakistan, but the neighbour is making it difficult to maintain good ties between the two countries. Home Minister's statement comes at a time when the situation at the border along Jammu and Kashmir is getting increasingly tensed. Home Minister Rajnath Singh also said India has shown it can attack its enemies not only on its soil but also in foreign territory if the need arises. Home Minister remarks come nearly a month after a group of five army commandos crossed the line of control in Pooch sector of Jammu and Kashmir and killed three Pakistani soldiers and destroyed a post in a daring operation. A Naga body called Naga Ho Ho has called for the resolution of insurgency in Nagaland before any state elections. Naga Ho Ho's delegation, which has been camping in the national capital for the last few days, has met several central leaders, including Home Minister Rajnath Singh, and voiced their opposition to the polls before a peace pact between the centre and the Naga rebel group NSCNIM. Tollywood actor Pavan Kalyan has said he would visit Hanuman Temple in Kondagatu near Karim Nagar today and announce his political program. Kalyan said he would announce his plan of action for the next three days today as he has not yet decided the exact mode he would adopt to reach the masses. Thugs of the Karni Sena and other Rajput organizations protesting the release of Sanjay Leela Bhansali's Padmavat went on a rampage and damaged DND flyover toll plaza counters and set up blaze. A barrier in Noida of Uttar Pradesh, the DND toll plaza being toll free nowadays was non operational and only glass windows and computers were damaged by the vandals. In Haryana's Gurugram, Karni Sena members have issued threat letters to cinema hall owners warning them not to screen the controversial film Padmavat, which has been, been given the green signal by the Supreme Court. In Sona, hundreds of Karni Sena members created a traffic mess for over half an hour on Sunday. They held up traffic and shouted slogans seeking a ban on screening of the film. ISRO chairperson K. Shivan has said they, that GSAT-11 could be the last Indian satellite to be launched by a foreign rocket. ISRO chief said the agency is focusing on developing a reusable launch vehicle that involves a lot of new technologies and the scramjet engine, which in turn would reduce costs. Adopting a unique approach to better bikers' behaviour, the police in Jammu and Kashmir police distributed helmet instead of fine to two-wheeler riders driving without helmets.
Today is the last day of the three-day winter carnival in Patnitop of Udhampur in Jammu and Kashmir. The three-day event involved various cultural activities including games and events. Every household in India will get a proper toilet and the entire country will be open, defecation free, before the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. The government agencies have said, Urban Affairs Minister Hardeep Singh Puri has said his ministry will achieve the target a year before the October 2019 deadline. Steering the controversy again, Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sangh Chief Mohan Bhagwat has said India is a Hindu Rashtra. Bhagwat also said Hindutva accepts diversity and does not believe in divisions and that is why India is a Hindu Rashtra.